Hey beer geeks, Nooch here. And this is your weekly world beer news wrap up. Uh, it's Thursday, uh, June 2nd. This is my uh, fruit intake for the day. Good morning. First off, the Brewers Association released its list of uh, 2016 summer seasonals and surprisingly it's sours and session beers. Want to try something different this summer? Pick up one of the new Agua Frescas. Only available in California and Arizona, hard frescos are naturally fermented with real fruit, wheatened with sugar cane, and I don't think they're even beer. I don't know why they're on this. They came up in beer news. Forget that. Party pigs. Mm. Wild Rose Brewery brings back, by popular demand, travel size party pigs. Mm. Now, if only we could get Mortal Kombat X inspired beer to play off with LSU beer, then American Idol winner Caleb Johnson could sing at the halftime show from a fermenter full of his beer. That's Here's a, some other stuff from this week that you that you don't need. Um, but this, the fermenter dispenser, Vessi, which is being crowdfunded right now, um, you want this. You want that. Uh, if you're buying one of those, then you also likely were at Dark Lord Day. Is this you? Did you spit on this woman? Is this all your trash on the ground? Since when did beer geeks become so trashy? Hey, what? I know, I can't believe it either. <laughs> uh, there's hope, though. Uh, North Coast Brewing out of Fort Bragg, California, just announced that they are now B Corp certified, joining the prestigious ranks of companies such as Patagonia and Dr. Bronner's to meet the highest standards of social and environmental performance, transparency, and accountability. North Brewing says that with every barrel of beer, we strive to do more as stewards of the environment and patrons of the arts. Words to live by. Unless you're Anheuser-Busch and Bev uh, S-A-N-V or no, ABI. It's easier to say. The Department of Justice say they are now investigating the ABI Distributor Incentive Program. You remember what that is, right? Uh, the Voluntary Anheuser-Busch Incentive for Performance Program. Hmm. Or as I like to call it, uh, the VAP. It's not, not all acronyms are, are useful. Under that sneaky as fuck incentive program, wholesalers are eligible for up to 1.5 million in reimbursements if 98% of the products they sell are ABI brands. This incentive comes at a time when ABI is attempting to earn approval from U.S. Regulator, regulators for its uh, planned $106 billion takeover of Saab Miller. Uh, European regulators approved the acquisition on Tuesday on the condition that ABI divest nearly all of Saab Miller's European assets, which Heineken and Asahi have been kind of like gobbling up. The company has approvals in Australia and South Africa, but in the U.S. they're having a little bit more of a difficult time clearing antitrust hurdles. They own like 46% of the market. And um, Oh, and according to Book and Bailey, uh, their takeover of Goose Island's Bourbon County is to blame for the recent infection issues. Uh, great read. Check that out below. Um, all the links for everything is uh, down below, um, but while you're down there, if you could just give this like a, a thumbs up and then subscribe so that, you know, you can see what's going on next week. It's, it's good. Poor America, though. If only we could go back to the good old days when Budweiser was Budweiser and, and it was non-alcoholic and sold in Canada. Uh, they missed the uh, Canadian Brewing Awards, too, so bummer for that. The winners were announced yesterday. Entries for the Australian Craft uh, Beer Awards close tomorrow, though, Friday, June 3rd. So get your vote in, and while you're there, uh, do this little survey. You might win, like, 500 bucks worth of beer. Or you could just check out this um, Where's Waldo painting, where you're supposed to find these special ale. Photo of the week. 
Meet Therefore Beer on Instagram. It's a really fun channel. Check it out, although this photo looks a little risky. Uh, Eugene Beer Week is going on right now. It ends Sunday. If you are in Eugene, then stop by Tap and Growler and say hi to my little baby brother. Hmm. Beer has been busy, though, up in the Government Hill this week. Uh, adding its 218th co-sponsor, the Craft Beverage Modernization and Tax Reform Act is now supported by the majority of the U.S. House of Representatives. Woohoo! U.S. Senate also passed the Resolution 473, uh, which is basically just thanking small and intimate craft breweries. <laughs> And uh, Oklahoma has some changes in the works as well, so look out, Oklahoma. You may have some higher ABV beer coming your way soon. Milk might have to be the new beer in Venezuela, though. Uh, dire economic downturn over the past several years and um, public riots over the past months have led to Venezuela's largest brewer, Empresa Polar, completely shutting down their operations. President Nicola Maduro uh, has now threatened to take over the closed brewery, saying that the, the business owners risk being put in handcuffs. So, brew or go to jail. Milk it is. Uh, here is a sneak peek into McKellar's new barrel room in Copenhagen. They're slated to be opened in 2017. Check out this lovely video of this hop farm in Brazil. Pretty, right? Huh? No? Not enough? Hopsteiner updated their hop directory with high-res photos and easy-to-use bios. It's really beautiful. Uh, you, you can see the delicious little petals in each hop and golden resins. Basically not safe for work. Really, really distracting. Uh, oh, and in London, the earliest written reference to the city of London was unearthed. Woohoo! Brewing and Bear makes several appearances in the Discoveries. Uh, some stuff about uh, a guy named Tartius, the brewer, and references to beer barrels, and also someone who they think may have been one of the first large beer barons. Our last bit of news really sucks. 29-year-old brewer in China, Mr. Fu, has been detained for beer labels. The images are references to June 4th, 1989, the Tiananmen Square uh, massacre, we'll say. Uh, armed soldiers seized the square after pushing through parts of Beijing, often shooting at protesters or just residents who tried to stop them. Uh, hundreds, like more likely thousands, uh, died in the mayhem, and um, there was a lot of bloodshed that followed for days, days after. Uh, the Communist Party goes to great lengths every year to avoid the rekindling of memories of the Tiananmen Square. So every year around this time, they take outspoken, outspoken liberals, um, either put them in house arrest, or uh, they're taken outside of Beijing on like compulsory uh, trips accompanied by state security officials. It's like obligatory governmental vacation. Yay! Um, authorities may detain Mr. Fu for up to, or for two weeks. Um, and then they could decide to keep him longer, or to formally arrest him, or release him, or possibly like, let him go with conditions, or just, you know, like, kill him, because they do that. Yeah. Uh, his wife, in a phone interview with the New York Times, seemed to be distancing herself from her husband, likely in an attempt, you know, to save her own freedom. <sighs> My assumption is that, um, this will open more channels of discourse for the importance of your branding. Um, it actually matters, you know? Each bottle is like a little leaflet, and your message could affect people. So, uh, that's your news for this week. Sorry to end on a down note, but here is a sweet video of SpaceX's landing, uh, taken from the ship's onboard camera. Uh, thanks for checking in, spread the news, join me on your, uh, favorite social channels, I've just got all of them, Tasty Mitch, and, um, share the stories. If you uh, have anything that any news that pops up, uh, go ahead and just drop me a message and I'll get it posted. Merci, au revoir.